All right, everybody, welcome back to Vinland Saga episode eight. Uh, last episode, uh, we got to see how the whole Askeladd band works and everything, what their mentality is, what they do, um, sort of their whole like mindset, how, how vicious they are, how they work, their whole strategy, how Askeladd pretty much runs that band. He's, he's like the brains and the brawn and everything else. Uh, and then we also got to see um, uh, Thorfinn's uh, relationship with the band and uh, obviously his is a bit unique and we found out last episode that you know he's got to do these extraordinary things for Askeladd in order to get a um, a fair duel a fair duel keyword fair duel which is what um, Thorfinn wants because he wants to beat Askeladd fair and square unlike how uh, Askeladd uh, fought Thor's um, but anyways um, Thorfinn earned his uh, his fair share and uh, we should be getting into the duel between them, so let's let's get right into it. Shit. Look at all that fucking loot, dude. Look at all that loot. If this was like an MMORPG or some shit, my god, this would be the, the fanciest guild out there that just cleared the brandest, newest raid out there. Oh, dude, you're talking to the wrong person, my guy. This guy will fuck you up. There's only like what? Yeah, there, there's only there's only one person that can that can fuck with Thorfinn. That's my boy Askeladd. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better make that face, motherfucker. What the ew? What the fuck? You guys all look like you're like half his age. Askeladd looked like he's fifty. All you guys look like you're fucking sixteen. My God, you guys are like a third of his age. What the fuck? Damn, dude, he straight up walked up. He didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a fuck. He pushed everybody out the way. It was like, Askeladd, I'm looking for you, motherfucker. I'm also very curious how they're going to animate this. Like, are they going to extend the fight longer than it was in the manga? Are they going to do anything different in terms of, like, choreography-wise? Very interested. Very, very interested how they're going to do this. Uh, I, I mean, they could keep it the same, too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Thorfinn was like, I ain't, I ain't about this small talk bullshit. But I mean, I think you guys know what Askeladd's up to right now. You know, one thing, one thing I'm, I'm, I'm liking a little bit is that Askeladd's stance is a, is a little less kendo and a little bit more uh, fencing. Although he's still kind of in a, in a fencing stance, but or in, in a kendo stance, but. L little sprinkle of a uh, little sprinkle of uh, fencing right in there. Yeah, damn dude, Askeladd is just playing with. He is taking advantage of Thorfinn's mind right now. He's he's playing that. Uh, he's play he's playing with his emotions right now. That's how he's gonna get him. I mean, just watching it again, dude. It's so sad, but like, the way Thor's went out, man. He didn't even drop. He didn't even fall. Yeah, see, this is this is the problem with uh, with Thorfinn. Like Askeladd got him right here. Like, yeah, you got you got you got dropped, Thorfinn. There's a thing with Thorfinn, and, and I like how they I, I like that they kept the fight the same, P kind of, sort of. They they added a little bit, some some here and there, but um, overall, I like how they kept it the same because it shows that Thorfinn did grow in terms of combat, but. He doesn't know how to keep a cool head, and that's his that's his downfall. Because if you can't keep a cool head in, in literally anything, whether it's a sport, whether it's like a, a game of chess, or whether it's like a, um, and really anything combat, you're going to lose. I mean, just look what happened to Jose Aldo against uh, Conor McGregor. Aldo is a, is a future Hall of Famer. He's one of the greatest. Back then, he's one of the greatest fighters of all time. Uh, but he get dropped because he lost his cool and that's exactly like I'm going off on a tangent But that's exactly like what's wrong with uh, with Thorfinn Man, dude, it's, it's like every corner you turn dude. It's like Vikings are just fucking ruthless. I mean, that's how history portrayed them and it, it doesn't seem like there's any inconsistency in that history of a man I mean, just watch. It doesn't matter how many times I watch it, dude. Whether it's this series or 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 some of the movies I've watched or or the Vikings, like live action series on um, fuck what what was it HBO or something? I don't know what it was on, but 
Vikings are just fucking ruthless, man. Damn, dude. Yo, this scene is hitting real hard right now, man. Holy fuck. Holy fuck the way they did this scene. My god. Like, I'm damn near about to cry, dude. I've, I don't think I've ever... No, I take that back. I have cried during anime series. Five centimeters per second was one. But my lord, I'm getting close. My shit. What's funny is in the manga, I totally forgot about this chick. She's really only, like... She's really only there to be used as a device to... Bring up Vinland again. You know, to get that... You know, remind Thorfinn about good old Vinland. Because it's been, it's been quite a while since, uh... Since Thor's death, so... Oh, we get a little Costco BJ sample of the prince. Okay. I got you, fam. Little, little, little tease. Okay, I, I honestly would have thought that they would have given the, given the king, like, a, like, an older voice. Uh, this voice sounds, like, he's old. He's old as shit, but I was thinking more like a, like a, uh, like a, Beg it, beg it, no. That like that kind of voice, you know, like like he's close to death, kind of voice. It's funny. It's funny how he says that. Like, oh, Canute doesn't have that much battle experience. Well, then how the fuck do you expect to gain battle experience without going into battle? Like, there's a fine line between practice and battle. All right, a very fine line, like a clear. Not blurry, fine, deeply colored line between practice and battle. So, like, the only way you're going to gain battle experience is through battle. And it's something that you, you can practice all you want, get all the technicalities and stuff, but in battle, there's little nuances you have to learn. Now, granted, minor spoiler, spoiler alert, uh, Canute isn't exactly trained... But, you know, what I'm trying to get at is that, like, you, you can't expect to have battle experience without being in battle. That's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, did we get to see our boy Thorkel? Yeah! We get a little, a little Costco BJ sample of my boy Thorkel. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thorkel! Let's chill out for a bit, my dude. Holy shit, Thorkel. <laughs> Alright, sick. Now we're getting into some good shit. We're getting right into what I call uh, the Thorkel arc. Uh, a lot of people... Um, I, forgot, I forgot what a lot of people call this arc because I've been calling this the Thorkel arc for a long time. But this arc is lit as fuck, dude. Holy shit. Thorkel is just an absolute... If you like Zaraki Kampachi from, um, from Bleach, you will love Thorkel. Man, now I can't wait for the next episode, dude. Holy shit.